from uh, the left side that involved uh, Birhanu as well. But again, they don't give it to Binyam Fikret, who was open on the right side. And that might just be what is going to con 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 confound them to what they will get at the end of the game. So it's on the feet of Cherinet Guxa. Does well not to give it to Didier Libre. This one is onside. Again, technically put in the net. He's going to be the most technical player we've seen in the Ethiopian Premier League. Way that he puts in his goals doesn't work hard for them, but he works very smart for them. Mengistu Sitayu is back again on the field with a goal, much to the disappointment of Frank Natala. Well, you've got to marvel at this very tall and lanky striker who scored in every game which he has come. He's put on side. The left side and then brings it on his right foot. A clever way to be able to go down that side. Cherry Nets was timing Sitayu Mengistu. Yeah, yeah. That, that acceleration by him on the left hand side. He takes off and uh, Aduna cannot be able to meet him. And that's the good pass. Only that the goalkeeper was uh, right at that spot to get yeah. that fast touch breaking down. Across here, just the down Sitayu Mengistu is not accurate on the shot. On his left foot. But lovely chasing down by Didier Lebry. Oh, put it down so, you know, tantalizing for uh, Sinta Eumengistu. All he needed to do was to get an accurate shot on this one and could have been getting a goal from the Walaita Ditcher side. That's an but opportunity, that's an opportunity. Very good feed from uh, Didier. Didier. A little bit of a tussle to try and take possession here from both sides. Tony Gupta running away with this one. I think players continued. Nice look at where to put the ball through. And this one takes the ball. I'm trying to run off from two 